everybody. Happy today is Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, we missed that today. Um, so today is also Veronica's birthday. She turned 13. So not only is it her birthday, but we are also headed to see a house that we are super excited about. And some of you have said, have you shown us everything you guys are taking you with you with us? <laughs> to every house that we're going to see and there just hasn't been that many that we actually want to take the time to go see because everything that we go see is an hour hour and a half drive from where we are to get to the places in the country so it, it's a big ask of the kids you know to keep Luke and and of a realtor to go with us to go travel to go see these properties so we make sure we really really like it before we decide that okay we're gonna take three or four hours to go do this. So we are headed to go see it. Super excited to share that with you. So while we are driving, I'm gonna go on and share with you guys Ronnie's birthday. And then we'll share with you this awesome house that we can't wait to go see. So this is the night before her birthday. And her best friend and her best friend's mom, we have Ronnie busy, came to put all kinds of stuff in the yard. So here's what it looks like. They put a big banner out. This is happy birthday. So cute. She has the best best friend. Due to social distancing since they were two years old. Since their second birthday. This will be the first time that they aren't celebrating it together with social distancing. You looking out the front door? What's out the front door? I don't know. What's out the front door? <laughs> what is that? Go out and look. It wasn't me. This was your BFF. Really? Yep. While you were playing Fortnite. Really? Uh-huh. Because this is the first time since you guys were two, she can't be with you. Really? Yep. I made you that poster. <laughs> All right, so here is birthday breakfast. She wanted fruit and donuts, so we got cantaloupe, orange juice, a special birthday cake creamer, and she loves these little chocolate chip mini muffins, and then an assortment of donuts. That's for the 13th birthday. All right, he came running down the stairs and said, Woohoo, what's outside? Go see, baby. Go check it out. You can go in the yard and go look. Go read the sign. Emma did this. Hi, Punky. Good morning. I like you so much. Look, the windmills are starting to go. We got a windows down, driving on a four or five, sing along to the radio. Gonna make it someday. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't What are you doing? Not too hard. 
So this is the cake. She is doing a fruit themed birthday. So she wanted a cake with strawberries on top. And then we filled it with fruit all around. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Nothing like an extra half hour. Yeah. This is why we don't just go see any property. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're just sitting in traffic, but I'm going to show it to you guys as soon as we get there. go up and it says we've arrived. Yeah, I think. Holy cow. Okay, so here is the door. So just when you walk in, super cute. It's pretty tiled floors. You walk in and there is your, it's got a little wet bar back there. A wood burning fireplace to ceiling a den right here and then if you go this way you have kitchen which is a pretty good size kitchen and you have your dining room and then if you go down the hall here just go on down then you start going into bedrooms so here is one bedroom a really good size bedrooms closet this has access to one of the two double bathrooms and then it has or double sinked bathrooms and then it has a um, well, we'll go back this way and then it has three half baths. So as you go through, this is to the finished basement. And then in here is a half bath. It's just sinking a, a toilet. 
Here would be the master bedroom and the master bath right here. There's no fancy tubs or anything like that going on. And then you go down the hall here and it's very dark, but there is another bedroom and access to that same bathroom. You can get through either the hall or that bedroom over there. And two more bedrooms back here. Again, just really big size. And one over here, just really big size, cool windows all throughout. So, and now you're back at the kitchen. So, if you go through the kitchen to this other door, so it slides in. That's cool, it slides in. You go down and it is a big sunroom. So you have your own air conditioner here. This would be like a great workout room or dance area, whatever for the kids. You can go back there. This is almost seven acres on this property. So let's go see the basement. Okay, so you come down the basement. Well, and so when we redid ours, we did drop ceiling. The whole and there ceiling. is very low ceilings. Like Jake, you'd have to duck your head. Pretty low. And here is the finished area that would be like our movie room, like what we have now. Probably about the same size as what we have right now. And if you go back here, it is the unfinished area. So this is where you would store stuff. Then it has also the washer and dryer is downstairs. It has a half bath here. If you go in, it has another unfinished area. And then here is another room. Sorry, you're good. Another room. And this one has a bench on it. So it shows their age a little bit. Well, you got so that's kind of built there. in. Yeah. It does have and the drop two, ceilings three. in this part. And then you go oh, through here, and, and this is a workshop. Yeah. Used to be a garage, but they turned it into a workshop. It technically still could be a garage. But there's also a two-car garage um, outside. It also has another work area back here. And then in here is another bedroom with a window. And there is no closet though in here, but for us, it would definitely be another bedroom. You can see and the here pipe. Is half bath. Well, you can't see so it runs right. And then you go through here. Just be careful, all these stairs. So, this is a mud room. You just got to watch your step. <laughs> and back here is then a, a garage. This is your two-car garage. Let me put a light on here. Okay, well, I can't really find the light for out here, but here is a two-car garage. Um, more some work stuff going on. Um, they've got lots of wood piled here. And you go out back, and out here um, in the one mudroom, they do have a doggy door. They've got this area pinned in for a dog right here. And you can go, See, there's the doggy door so you can come and go right through here in and out all at once which is kind of nice then you have the other door that comes out back here it's a it cleaned up would be a very pretty um, little patio here and then you walk up and over here 
is a big deck which does have a gate to go across. Charles just has to sturdy all that up. And you go up the stairs and you have a big pool up here on the deck, which the kids would absolutely love. And you also have a hot tub over here. And then your property goes way back there. And there is also a swing set already. Charles will just have to make it more sturdy. You do have some wooded area along here some. As you go up, we'll walk the property here in a minute. And then over here you have another patio. You've got like a bench out there on it. And you're wooded again. You do have neighbors somewhere. Um, and I hear a rooster crowing. <laughs> These just, you can't see them. It's very private. Yeah. Okay. So here is swing set. For the kids that we have love the swing set. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So the thing with this house is they're asking top of our, our budget and it really does need work. So That's what we're trying to figure out. That looks like once upon a time they had a tree house in there. A little tree fort. Okay, so you do have neighbors over there because they're doing a bonfire right now. So I came over on this side. And you have a cool little entrance into the woods. That's actually pretty cool. I think the kids would have a blast. It does have a barn up here. Watch you guys step <laughs> over that. Just go down and it's not as high. I'll, I'll just go here, that's fine. Is that open? It is. Okay. Up anyway. Oh, there's a hole in the ceiling. Honey, look, there's a deer. Look, can you guys see the deer jumping through there? So, from what I saw, the property goes all the way back to the tree line. Yes. Yeah, from, from there, it kind of tapers around, follows the tree line down that direction, and then you know, this little. So, for some reason, right they right didn't. Honey, I did not wear my long socks. So it goes all the way back there. Oh, that was so cute to see the deer hopping through. All right, and then when you come around the side, it's got like another part of a driveway. This really is not a garage anymore. It is where the um, workroom was in the basement. It's busted out there a little bit. But you come around, you've got some side yard here. So here is like your, your front yard. This is very much hills, which I like. And then again, you can see the house. This is very pretty. Okay, so I feel total potential in this one. Absolutely loving it, completely feel potential. I think this could be gorgeous. I think the property is good. Charles is not feeling it as hard as I'm feeling it. So, who knows? Probably still back to looking. <laughs> I'll let you guys know when he decides. I'll kind of get his opinion and um, maybe in the car ride home, but I'll probably just share that with you guys on the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all had a fabulous day. And hopefully I can tell you he decides to let me get this house. But if not, that's okay. Then we will find the next one. Bye everybody.